Today we're going to be talking about how to create any skin tone like this in Photoshop. It's going to be a lot of fun. Whether you have a reference image or not, creating a skin tone can be really easy. But here's the thing, since every image is different, the method will be the same, but there will be little variations here and there. And that's why I have divided this tutorial into three examples. And that pretty much covers it all. I'm pretty much excited and I hope you are too. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop and by the way, all the images that I show in the tutorial is available for download. Links in the description below, everything for free. So this is the subject that we want to change the skin tone off. And we would like her to have a skin tone like this, okay? Now we can create our own skin tone, but to have a reference, you'll have a better understanding of what I'm actually doing. So to do that, all you have to do, select any selection tool and select out a part of her face. Okay, Controller Command C, come back to this image, Controller Command V. You know what just happened? This. I'm not kidding. <laughs> let me try to put this back in the right place, my keyboard. Let's see whether that fits. Okay, let's zoom in and let's Controller Command T and let's resize that. And this is just for reference. Okay, this will stay at the top all the time. Every adjustment layer that we add is going to be between this and this. Okay. So the first adjustment layer that we're going to add is called curves and this time we'll first adjust the lightness and then we'll adjust the color. Okay. So add an adjustment layer called curves. There we go. Let's make it a little smaller. I don't know what was I doing the last time. Okay. Now take the middle point, click here and take it downwards to a point where it matches this. So I think this is okay this is pretty much okay and as you can see the shadows here is a bit lighter we'll take care of that later first just look at the skin the skin should match first okay so it's something like this all right now once you're satisfied with this close it next we're going to add something called and this is crucial and this is the main heart of this tutorial something called gradient map Okay, now make sure you close it first. Okay, change the blend mode of the gradient map from normal to hue. Okay, now click here. This is one of the things that most of us miss. Click here. Currently, it was selecting the mask. Click here so that when you sample, it doesn't sample the mask. What does that mean? I'll show you. Okay. Double click on the properties. Okay, this, these are the properties. Every icon that an adjustment layer has, if you double click on it, the properties will show up. Now, single click on this, don't double click on this, single click on this, and this will come up with some presets. Now, zoom in right now, if you can. I'm guessing you can. No, you can't. Just close it and then zoom in. Okay. Now, zoom out so that both of the faces are visible, and then single click on this, and select any one with three colors equally, okay? This one, you can select this one, and then all you have to do, you have to double click on this. With the eyedropper tool, sample the darkest area of this face, okay? Shadows, to be precise, okay? Click OK. Then double click on the middle one, sample the midtones of this face. So this is the midtone, I'll click here, click OK. Double click on this one, sample the brightest area of this face. Click OK. Now this is pretty much matching. Okay. Now before you do anything, of course we can go ahead and adjust that, tweak it a little bit. But before you do anything, we need to paint in the skin so that to see how it's exactly matching and to match it well, match it better. So pause for a second, click OK, close it. Pause for a second, just paint over her skin and then do the required adjustments. Okay. Now let's make group of both of these. Controller command hold it and select both of these. Controller command G. Now this is a group. Now create a negative mask. To create a negative mask, press and hold alter option and click on this mask button. Now take the brush, make sure the foreground color is white, increase the flow to 100, that's okay. Make the brush as soft as it can go and just paint over her skin. As you can see now her skin is matching with her. Of course we need to do a little bit of adjustment, but don't paint on her lips, just her skin. 
there we go okay to erase an area press x foreground color becomes black and then paint on that we didn't want on her lips we want it here we want to paint here with white and you pretty much have the idea now let's go back and try to tweak it okay great since the blend mode hue changes just the hue it doesn't touch the saturation and what is hue hue is the pure color okay the color it chooses so we need to create an adjustment layer hue saturation and just increase or decrease the saturation to see which one is matching now everything that we are doing is doing inside this group okay so once you're inside this group create an adjustment layer hue saturation and let's try increasing or decreasing the saturation to see which one's matching don't touch the hue just the saturation okay so as you can see if i increase it it's now matching a little more close it have a look at the before and after so this is the before this is the after it's getting closer to this now to tweak it even more let's come back to the mask and let's paint in this area just a little bit okay now to tweak it even more what you can do go back to the gradient map and click a few more times at the places which you might think would make a perfect midtone a perfect shadow and a perfect highlight so double click on the gradient map okay single click on this and double click basically on the midtones does most of the job and click on different areas to see which one's matching oops we did some mistake here's why you need to select anywhere i click it's selecting white why i'll show you why cancel this cancel this because this is selected remember what i told you make sure this is selected okay now go to the properties now single click on this now double click on this and just take a sample now whenever you are taking a sample make sure all layers is checked okay if it's not checked it won't do your job okay now let's try different areas which area might match the most you don't know so it's going green if I choose this so maybe this area is the best click OK and we have the highlights in place and then you can tweak it as much as you want and click OK now as you can see the shadows here are a little lighter that it's kind of something in a global level global level so let's add a global curves just above the group so add a curves and make sure the curve is outside the group and then go to the properties of the curve and increase the shadows just like this one increase the shadows give it a little twist there we go okay now it has matched as you can see let's look at the before Look at the after, we have tried to match with this one, also decrease the opacity of the group to match it better. There we go. Have a look. Before, after. Now you can take your time to paint all over her body, all over her skin. I'm not going to waste your time, so let's jump into our second example. In this example, as you can see, she has a very light skin and if you want to give her a nice golden tan, here's what you got to do. We want this skin tone so do the same thing select the face okay controller command c controller command v now in this i'm going to talk about how would you modify and create your own skin tone if you want to okay so place it right beside her there we go and do the same thing create a curves first okay curves now decrease it because that's a bit darker not too much bit darker bit and here's the key you see the brightest area here it's very bright but the brightest area here is not that bright so we need to take this down too like so watch now it kind of matches have a look take it more down take this down too now it kind of matches have a look before after it's matching then create the gradient one gradient map and close it and select this and change the blend mode to hue now here's the thing sometimes the blend mode hue will not work let me show you we double click on this click once and do the same thing make sure all layers is checked okay select any one with three colors select the darkest area or select black you can select black click ok the midtones you can select something like this or this click ok 
and for the brightest areas you can select the brightest area like this and click OK. It's not matching, it's not looking good. So in that case what you can do, you can change the blend mode to color. Now it's much more matching. Now before you tweak it, again as I told you, make a group of both of them. Ok, Ctrl Command G. Remember what we have to do now? Create a negative mask, press no louder option and click on this. Negative mask, take the brush, foreground color white and just paint over her skin. Now it's pretty close, it didn't look so much close when we applied it all over the image. Now you can do a separate one for lips even. You can create a gradient map for lips, then you can match the lipstick also. But I'm just gonna show you the skin. Okay, I know this is looking strange, you need to do a separate one for the lipstick and you basically have the idea. Now, once you have this, what you can do if you wanna modify it, if you wanna create your own skin tone, you can go to gradient map, single click on this, now you have the reference, you can click on this, double click and you can select any color of your choice to have the skin tone that you want. For example, you like this one, you would click OK, right? Isn't that nice? So that's how you make your own skin tone. Now here's another thing, close it, close it. You might not want this at this much intensity. So what you can do, select the group, and decrease the opacity, have a look. It's much more better than the previous one, have a look. So this is the before, this is the after. You can decrease the opacity as much as you want, before, after, and paint in the rest of the areas. A much more tanned skin tone, okay? Now this brings us to our third example where even the color blend mode might not work. You might have to do a little adjustments here and there and also apply some global adjustments to make it work. So let's get started. The third example is a relatively difficult image. Why difficult? Have a look. This image, as you can look, has a kind of faded effect. And we want her to have a skin tone of her. But in this image, the shadows are dark. But in this image, the shadows are faded. So how do we get around that? We'll learn it together. So first thing always, select the face. There we go. Click it. Controller Command C. Controller Command V. So there we have it. Keep it side. Right, make it a little bigger to have a much better sampling. There we go. And select this layer. So the first thing that we need to do, we need to match the shadows and highlights. Because this is faded, we need to match the shadows and highlights. Whether you match the shadows and highlights of this one or this one, that's totally up on you. I'm gonna match this shadows and highlights to this one. Okay. So to create that, to make that, add a curves adjustment layer. And this is global. We are not gonna add this to the group. As you can see, there's a sharp rise from here, which means that after this point, anything which is darker than this has been faded. So we would take this slider from here to there. There we go. Have a look. It has matched just a little here. Right. You might want to take it a little more to the left. And you might want to give it a little, maybe something like that. Not too much, just a little hair there something like this okay great have a look before after now it's pretty much matched now for the skin we need to darken that okay this is another curves we are adding this to our group this curves we're gonna match it for the skin the skin is obviously a little lighter so we're gonna add a little there we go a little highlight here if we can no it's getting bad if we can make it a little something like that yeah, it's kind of matching, but we want a little more highlight. There we go. It's pretty much matching. Okay, have a look at the before and after. So this is the before, this is the after. Decrease the opacity, okay? That's too much, decrease the opacity. Okay, now the lightness is pretty much matching. Now, the gradient map. Gradient map, okay, close it, and then select this one. Change the blend mode to color, okay? Then double click on this, Single click on this, select anyone with three, double click on this, select the darkest point, you can even select black if you want to. In most cases it can be black. And the middle one, select the midtone of your choice, like this, something like this. Click OK. The lighter one, select the brightest part of the skin. In this case it is this. Okay. Now as you can see, it's just not matching. Okay, it's just not matching. Click OK. Okay, just click OK. 
even if it is color it's just not matching it's looking ugly all right so let's make a group of both of these first and then what you can do take the brush and create a negative mask and paint on the skin okay do that first don't paint on the eyes paint on the skin there we go just for a sample paint here and just ignore the dogs barking in the background for now okay all right those are not my pet dogs somebody else's all right before after it's not matching at all why we are losing the highlights of the environment so we need to take away the highlights from the effect so make sure you select the gradient map right click on it and go to blending options or what you can do the shortcut of going to blending options is double click on the right hand side of the layer and that opens up the blending options now take the slider of the underlying layer from right to left if you do that the effect goes away from the highlights now this is quite harsh right alter option hold it click on it and make it kind of natural something like that click ok have a look at the before and after so this is the before this is the after now you might want to decrease the opacity there you go something like that now we might have to do the lips separately okay now you can always go back to the gradient map where it is color and choose the colors if you want there we go the one that matches the most this one looks good click ok click ok close it there we go now you can also decrease the opacity if you want to another thing that I talked about previous in the previous example in the very first example create a hue saturation if you have to and increase or decrease the saturation accordingly there we go okay and that's how you match can have a look at the before and after so this is the before this is the after much more natural much more better have a look at the overall before and after so this is the before this is the after by the way I just forgot to add if some of you guys are wondering how do I get rid of this portrait all you have to do you have to drag this and delete it okay also another way is just turning it off or just press delete and that's it so that's how you create any skin tone in Photoshop just a quick recap number one adjust the lighting using what curves adjustment layer adjust the color using what gradient map now when you use the gradient map make sure you try two blend modes what are those hue and color okay and when you sample select any gradient with three colors and sample the shadows the midtones and the highlights and you're done sometimes you might want to add a hue saturation to take it more closer to the sample sometimes you also might have to add a blend if or sometimes you also might have to decrease the opacity for it to match well I hope this video helped you and if it did please give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss anything I would like to thank all our supporters who are helping keep pics and perfect free for everybody forever if you want to support the channel check the link down there in the description also special thanks to Savio Menezes especially for making this episode possible I'll see you guys in my next one till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating